Russell Bigelow Blowers, or as he was known to his contemporaries, R.B. Blowers, is pretty much forgotten today. But in the 1870s and the 1880s, R.B. Blowers was an industry leader in California agriculture's transition from non-irrigated and extensive grain culture, mostly based around wheat, to an intensive irrigated agriculture focused on fruit and nut production. He was best known as the first successful commercial producer and marketer of raisins in the late 1860s and the 1870s. But he was also an innovative horticulturist, continually experimenting with new varieties of grapes and fruit trees to see which were best adapted to the conditions on his woodland farm. A believer in cooperative action, Blowers helped to create the Woodland Grange in 1875 and served as its first Grange Master for several years. In 1880, he was appointed as one of nine commissioners to the newly formed State Board of Viticultural Commissioners. In the late 1880s, he served as the East Coast representative for the California Fruit Union, a statewide marketing corporation for California fruit growers, and he opened up the New York City market for California fruits. When the California Fruit Union dissolved, Blowers organized his woodland neighbors into their own local fruit shipping cooperative. Born in 1829 and educated at Ohio Wesleyan, in 1851, at 22 years of age, Blowers journeyed to California to join an older brother in the California gold fields. After two years of prospecting, in 1853, the brothers claimed land southeast of Woodland and began raising stock. In 1855, Blowers traveled back to Ohio to marry Olive Foster and then returned with his bride to Woodland, settling on 160 acres three miles south of Woodland, where he grew grain and livestock. In 1857, he began his transition to horticulture when he planted 10 acres of Mission grapes. In 1863, he planted a new import to California, the Gordo Blanco raisin variety, and planted his first raisins in 1867. Also in that year, Blowers purchased the 80 acres on the northeast corner of what is now East Street and Gibson Avenue, where the fairgrounds are now located. This became his home place, where he planted extensive vineyards and orchards and, in 1877, constructed a classic Victorian that included gas lights fueled by gas generated on site. This home remained in the family into the 1930s, lived in by his second wife, Mary, his two daughters, Annie and Carrie, and his son, Russell Irving, all of whom continued the fruit growing business after Blower's death in 1894 at 65 years of age. A progressive farmer, Blowers eagerly adopted technology and science in his quest to produce high quality fruit in the Yolo County conditions. He was an early advocate for irrigation, first using water from Cache Creek via the Moore Canal, and later developing a well capable of delivering 150,000 gallons per hour to his farm, using underground piping cast in place and a steam-powered centrifugal pump developed and built by his neighbor, Byron Jackson. Blowers was also an inventor. In 1874, an early rain damaged some of the raisins he was drying in his vineyard rows. This led Blowers to design, build, and patent a fruit dryer that could be used for raisin production and for other fruits. He later claimed to have produced the first dried prunes in California, although that is difficult to prove. Since this museum is on the old Blowers property, it seems fitting that R.B. Blowers be honored as the progressive agricultural leader that his contemporaries knew and admired.